and be used as a deterrent. Inevitably, it's going to bring you closer together. I mean, you know, you walk, you walk up the line of death, you know, right up to the line and you get to walk back. Uh, it, sh it starts to change your perspective. Thankfully, that's about the only thing that changed about Senator Greg Hembree. He looks and sounds exactly the same, but he's got a story. And surviving a brain aneurysm might be the least interesting part. His story with the twist next. Back, brain aneurysms. Anyone can have one. It's when blood forms in an artery right there in your brain and it bursts. Studies show 40% of people die when that happens, and doctors say there's no rhyme or reason. Senator Greg Hembry had one, and he lived. He's perfectly fine. We visited him earlier today at his home, and he says he was blessed, really blessed. A headache came like a bolt of lightning. I'm about to tell you a love story that involves a brain aneurysm. Senator Hembry was standing right here in his home when it happened. I dialed 911 first, and Renee was out walking, and I dialed her number second um, because I knew I was in real trouble. Renee is his wife. A storm was coming, just like in this painting in their living room. It's a picture of the ocean when there's trouble, and the seas were rough, and a storm was coming. And it reminds me that life has storms, but on each side of that storm is a calm and a blue sky and a beautiful future. These two have been together 34 years. Four weeks were spent in a hospital. Greg was my hero to begin with, but now he's he's got superpowers. He, he's amazing. One of those powers might be super hearing. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, while in the hospital, Senator Hembry developed sepsis and then pneumonia set in. All I could think about were my grandchildren, my children and my wife and to, um, I gotta hang on, I gotta keep breathing, I gotta keep breathing. The storm had hit. Senator Hembry spent eight days in a medically induced coma. He could hear everything that was going on, including his daughter, Nora. She's like, Dad, you just gotta pull through. You just gotta, you gotta pull through. If you pull through, James and I'll have another baby and you can name the baby. Senator Hembry heard it all, but doctors said he wouldn't remember. Eight days later, he woke up. The storm was over. I said, Nora, when are we going to get started on that baby? Senator Hembry remembered. He was squeezing my hand, and I could look into his eyes, and I, I just knew that everything was going to be okay. You could say love saved his life. It's a rich, deep, mature, God-given love. So you see, this was a love story. I'm excited to know what it is. Every day is a love story. This one just hasn't ended. Senator Hembree would like to thank everyone for their thoughts and prayers, and he wanted me to let everyone know that his Senate office is open and staff members are taking calls. Glad to see that man back. All right, folks, we have got some nice weather coming up this weekend. I'll show you how hot it's going to be and when we have our next chance of rain coming up after the break.